It's a new day, Chevy. Want to come say hi to Phyllis with me? Where are you going? Hey. She does that every time I turn on my GoPro too. <laughs> it's my party trick. Look. No? People don't think it's cool? <laughs> that's his... <laughs> that's his... His little button. Poor guy's been so itchy lately with the weather change. So, good morning, Phyllis. How you doing? How'd you sleep? Enjoyed a movie with her yesterday. It was it was a very romantic date. Uh, it was a triple date, actually. My wife came along, which was kind of awkward, but she insisted to be there. What did we watch? Oh, yeah, we watched that. Uh, you guys saw. I already said it in the vlog. Holmes and Watson. Holmes and Watson. It was funny. We really liked it. It was really funny. You got to have that sense of humor, though, because it was kind of like ridiculous over the top. Even for Will Ferrell, I found. A little over the top humor, but it made me happy because they just added a British accent to his usual character. It just made it so much better. Did you enjoy the movie, Diesel? Tell us all about it. Did you enjoy it? It, it was, it was, it was pretty funny. Didn't you have any dogs? Yo, very disappointed. Hashtag disappointed. Right, mom? No dogs. You slept through half of it. Don't lie to the audience. <laughs> Maybe that was my dream. He dreams vividly, and he runs and barks in his dream <laughs> yeah. all the time. Yeah, a lot more than the other two. So today we're running into Winnipeg. We have a doctor's appointment uh, to check a few things out. We'll talk about that more on the way. We need to get going. We got about five minutes to get out of here. You know I just thought of? What? I need something from inside. I am always forgetting stuff. Always. It's part of being me. It comes along with the family name. Now I gave my family name to her. <laughs> no, she, she's forgetting stuff all the time. What's that? I just said, look at how dirty this is. You can tell a man's been driving it. What other man have you had here? You've driven it twice since you got home. This vehicle is filthy. It's filthy. It's hard to open doors with one hand when you have this stuff in your other hand. I always bug her about having a dirty vehicle because usually she keeps it absolutely spotless. It is clean inside, but it's exactly the opposite of my vehicle. My vehicle is always clean on the outside, usually, but dirty on the inside. Hers is spotless on the inside, but dirty on the outside. I wouldn't say spotless. There's some dust in here and some feathers from my jacket. There's, there's a few a specks of dust dirty, and a few feathers. There's a dirty napkin over here crumpled up in the door. Oh, and a dirty napkin. What are we going to do? That is filthy. I take back everything I said. I think I outdo you on the filth. Well, it's springtime. It's hard to keep anything clean. Even our house right now is just full of sand and dirt yeah. and dog hair. Chevy is shedding enough for like six bears. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, he is. But we need to get going. Let's do it. I don't even know what vehicle I'm driving. I put it in I put it in drive here and then I try to put it in drive here too. I do the exact same thing. <laughs> I'm used to the truck. Here we go. We gotta wash both our vehicles inside and out. This maybe after spring once it gets a little a little drier. Drier out and not so mucky. Yeah, once once the end of May, beginning of June hits. So somebody got the appointment time wrong. Well, she, I called her to confirm and she sounded like it was her mistake because she quickly fit me in for 3 p.m. So Yeah, it was supposed to be at 2 p.m. But apparently now the lady there thought it was gonna be at 10 a.m. And it's already 1 30 ish now, so and they never called to say I was late I, I think maybe the receptionist accidentally made an error a boo-boo It happens at least they're able to fit me in at 3 so yeah, so we got some time to kill now I almost caught her singing. <laughs> almost. Almost. There's no XM signal down here, so I have to make up my own tunes. <laughs> Always gotta have tunes, though. That's right. Always. So That's we, how I is. We're downtown Winnipeg, so we had to come park in this underground parking area, which I don't like. But it is what it is. We're gonna go talk to my bank first. We still got a little bit of banking to do. Uh, other than this, we got one more visit with another bank, but I think we might do that next time. That one's not as important. And then we got your gynecologist appointment. How do we get to the underground mall? There's an elevator somewhere in the center. I think it's that way. 
I think it's that way. Yeah, we haven't explained to you what appointment we have yet. We have an appointment with her gynecologist. It's uh, the guy who's gonna take us from here on our journey to a baby, right? <laughs> or a hopeful baby, yeah. yeah. So she's gonna get herself all checked out and I don't know what they're gonna do. Because oh, apparently um, just a regular doctor can't refer you to a fertility clinic has to be a specialist, and an OBGYN is a specialist, so. Oh, okay. We're hoping to maybe get an answer or two today. We don't know what to expect. So since our appointment got moved to three o'clock, we had a little bit of extra time. So that's why we're at the Underground Mall beneath Portage and Main. And when we, there's actually a mall under the ground, underneath downtown, there's a mall. You'd never know it was here unless you lived here or someone took you here. Sort of hidden away. That's probably not great for advertising. No, that's probably why businesses don't survive in it. Very yeah. Long. <laughs> My sister Rose actually used to work in the underground mall for years. When they lived in Winnipeg. So we got that done. One less stress on our backs. Mm -hmm. Go Team D's right. Yeah. So then we're switching over all of our banking and stuff and it's so stressful to make sure you don't miss anything because all of these automatic withdrawals and automatic deposits, you gotta make sure they're depositing to the right account, coming out of the right account and being transferred to other accounts, which are the right accounts also. You don't want to suddenly be caught with no home insurance or something. Yeah, gotta make sure everything's <laughs> still paid. And we were in, I was in such a, like, we were both in such a comfortable, spot already with our banking but what we're doing now will actually make it a lot easier for us so once we get into the swing of things with this system it'll be a lot better yet get ourselves into the brit mobile i need a cape if you're gonna call this the brit mobile then i need a cape <laughs> not just a bright pink jacket okay she's alive let's see if we can get out of this place we got to go over to uh nearby the health science center here in winnipeg uh, the biggest hospital in the province and figure out where we're supposed to go all right so we're in another parkade but we got a pretty good parking spot we're right on the edge so we only got one neighbor nice gonna make sure i lock the doors this is winnipeg the city is crazy There was instructions on this little sign over there, on that little 224 sign or two something sign. I think it's 284. She's gonna go that way, I'm gonna go this way. What does it say? Play MPs pay inside the clinic entrance immediately upon arrival. Pay parking in effect 24 hour. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta go pay inside. Hopefully no one dings our front end here as they come around us. That's not what I was asking. What I was asking you was, oh. where do we go? Oh, okay. We found our way down to the street and this building right here is where we gotta go into. It's a brand new building. I don't think we go in there. Creepy. That looks like a good place to get murdered. I don't think that's the front door. We have to pay for our parking. We go I don't think we went the right way. Like, to get out of the parkade. That's oh well. Okay. I can use the exercise. I haven't been on the treadmill in a couple days. 
Is this it? This has got to be it. Yeah. That's a pretty big grand entrance. We'll see you guys when we get out. And the usual welcome home. They're just in the room with Britt right now. Here they come. Here comes one. Frank, watch out. Get out of the way. -hoo -hoo -hoo. There's one. Hey, Diesel. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> and here comes the other one. Oh, boy. Slid right past. <laughs> Boys. Whoa! <laughs> That's the welcome home you get every time around here. Makes us feel very important. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Frank. Hello! Oh, you people are very nice. He gave you all a nose kiss. <laughs> Chevy. Hey, buddy, we gotta get ready to go. Me and you are going to Chicago. Chicago. Chevy. You wanna go to Chicago with me? Wait, what? Hey, Who's Diesel? I was gonna brush you so that we save at least six Pomeranians from being in there. Diesel. Diesel, are you gonna stay at home with mom for this trip? Do I stay at home with mom? Oh boy, don't act so excited. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we made it home. Uh, we actually had a very good visit with the doctor. Had some very good news. Uh, it turns out uh, the doctor that had read my, uh, uh, what do you call it? My semen analysis was wrong. And he, either that or maybe he got misinterpreted as he told it to Britt. But he had told Britt that my counts were very low. And the specialist now took a look at the report and said, actually, no, that's not true. I'm doing perfectly fine. I'm above average. I'm good to go. Good swimmers, good. Everything's working right. So everything in Brit looks to be working right. She's got a few more tests to do just to make sure her reproductive system is all working as it should. But it all, all seems like we got good news today. We're feeling good about it. Uh, the specialist we saw was very nice and very informative, very patient, and explained stuff in normal words for us to understand. And uh, all in all, uh, we're, we're very happy. So got a couple more tests to do for Brit. Uh, I've got to go and do another sample. I'll sample in about two to three months just to make sure that I'm maintaining above average levels. And we sort of just got to stick to a schedule with uh, our... Baby making. I'm sure there's too much information for you already, so I'll just end end right there. But he he gave us like a schedule and stuff we got to do to follow, and we're hoping you know maybe within the next few months we can have a baby and uh, have a healthy pregnancy and healthy birth. We had uh, for those of you who are tuning in uh, who haven't watched our past vlogs, we had one miscarriage. Uh, last month, no, I mean last year uh, in July. And uh, it was really hard, especially for Britt to go through. And uh, so here we are almost a year later and still trying. So anyways, I've got to get myself ready for the truck because we got to get to trucking. I know that's why all of you are watching. Anyways, you don't want to hear about all this stuff. I know, but I want to keep you up to date because this is a vlog and a database of my life and you know that's a big part of my life right now we're trying to start a family so as life happens I'll share it with you but other than that we need to get the truck packed up we need to be in Chicago Friday I hear there's a snowstorm down south right now in US 
uh, starts around Minneapolis right now, but it's going to move towards Fargo for tomorrow. So I'll be driving through bad weather tomorrow. So I'm going to leave tonight yet to get a little bit of a head start so that I don't have such a big, big day to deal with, with bad weather and everything. Uh, so let's get loaded up. I'm taking Chevy with me this trip. Britt's staying at home. She's got uh, a few things she needs to get done this week. And she's still on her pro on her path towards getting her CDL, her class one. So that, that's something that we're very excited about. Hopefully we can get her behind the wheel this summer. It'll be real cool. Well, we'll be driving together. We won't be driving separate trucks, obviously. She'll be coming along with me and sort of we'll drive super single. She'll take over for me when I run out of hours and we want to keep going for a couple of hours type thing. And, you know, maybe she'll drive through the day and then maybe I'll drive into the night. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Time to get ready to go, though. It'll be dark by the time I get out of here today. I might not even get out of the country tonight. I'm kind of hoping to get around to Grand Forks or Fargo, North Dakota. That's my goal for today, but I guess we'll see. And here we are, ready to rock and roll. Got my load of lumber. We're headed down to Montgomery, Illinois, which is pretty much on the west side of Chicago. Not quite in the city yet, I don't think, but depending on what you call this city. I'd call it the city. So I'd say we're going to Chicago, in my opinion. And then from there, we don't have a plan yet. I asked them if there was a plan, because I'm going to be unloading probably, I'm going to be unloading probably Friday afternoon. So I was wondering what the plan is. I called in or I sent an email in and no plan yet. So I don't know if I'm gonna be sitting around till Monday or if there's a place that can load me on Saturday or if they're gonna send me empty through to Southern Ontario. I don't have a tri-axle on, so I can't go pick up steel there. Unless if they get me to switch trailers with the tri-axle, we might have one waiting out there. I don't know. Usually I get sent either to Southern Ontario from there or, you know, last time I got sent back to Minneapolis for those Bobcats. Maybe they'll get me to do that, I don't know. But I have a feeling I might be sitting around Chicago for the weekend. <laughs> We'll see. At least I got my wheels moving today. That's all that matters. I'm just going to go up to the border, probably the small town of Latalie, just on the Canadian side of the border, and we'll cross the border tomorrow morning and make a full day out of it. I'm going to stop by the gym in Sauk Center, Minnesota, and probably get down to around Black River Falls, Wisconsin, and then do the rest Friday morning to deliver Friday afternoon. We'll see. Let's get on the road here now. I'm just doing my pre-trip so I gotta finish that up and then uh, I'll talk to you guys at the end of my day. Well, it's a little chilly out tonight. I can sort of see how there's gonna be a snowstorm tomorrow. We didn't make it into the US, but we made it to where I told you in the last clip we would uh, out in uh, Latalie, Manitoba. You already had supper. I'm tired, so uh, this is where we're going to call it a night. Whew. Tomorrow is going to be a full day, and it's going to be a pain driving through the snow. I thought we were done with snow for this year already. Very disappointed. Chevy, i got to set up the bed, okay? So you just stay up here for a minute. Yeah, we got Chevy along with us on this trip. Hey, Chef. How you doing here, bud? How you doing? How you doing, mate? Tell the good people. How excited are you to be on the truck with me? How excited? Hey. Hey. We were talking here. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him. You scratch right here. Watch. You scratch right here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There it is. Do it again, Chef. Do it again. Do it again. Come on. Where is it? Where's the spot? Where's the spot? There, whoa, whoa, oh, oh. Where is it? Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Oh, usually it gets him thumping, like Thumper the Rabbit. I guess he's a little tired too. <laughs> we should both go to bed. Thanks for watching today. It's been a crazy day. We got a lot done. We did all that stuff in Winnipeg and everything. So thanks for watching this long vlog. We'll see you tomorrow for another one on our way down to Chicago. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm still seeing that over half of you guys who view the video aren't even subscribed. So go down below the video and subscribe on YouTube. Does me a big favor if you do. Thanks a lot and I'll see you tomorrow.